Lewis's first iPod. <sighs> I've been fairly busy today with myself. Just had my shower and the steam's going out in my bathroom. Hello there. How long have you been? I have been alright, thank you. I would like to show you today my old iPod. Um, it's actually the second one I've ever had because my very first iPod, unfortunately, when I was at Ford Garage years ago in 2011, I've accidentally dropped my first iPod on the floor and it became broken. I think the glass shattered, I think. Because I had my iPod up there, I was probably just listening to like, I don't know, just random things when I was only 12, when I've only just turned 12, I did. So it's my second iPod I ever had, which I'm going to show you just some interesting things and maybe even some nostalgia for you iPod viewers, in case you still use an iPod as of today. It's in here it is. Here it is. My very first iPod. Well, my second iPod, I mean. I had from many years ago. Let's go and sit on the sofa and I'll show you some old things on it that I used to play on years ago during the early 2010s. So, my second iPod from years ago. Ugh. Well, this is the phone cover I had years ago. I mean, I phone iPod cover I got from years ago where it's like that and there's a magnetic bit just there and it shuts. Now, the apps. And you're probably wondering what's my wallpaper. It's just the good old fashioned iPod wallpaper that you probably remember seeing years ago. Remember seeing all of this around in 2011, 2012? I do. Now, the apps that you're interested in, and you're probably wondering what does this button do? Because the middle section is pretty much like busted, I've got a button sorted on there, so Gesture is, um, no, I don't want gesture use. So if you want to go back to the main screen, there's the own button. I'll show you an example. I'll do it now. That'll take you back to the main screen. And the apps I'll swizz through. Look at all of that, eh? I've got loads of different apps from years ago. Some of them aren't even around anymore. Fancy that, eh? Um, there's another more apps that you can have a look at. Some of them are still around, but not many for many years ago. Let's have a closer look. And now, let's have a look at the apps. Do you remember all of these from years ago? Coindozer? Good old Angry Birds? Does anyone actually remember Angry Chickens? Sorry that you can't see that closely. Gorilla Jump, does anyone remember that? Do you remember Ice Arcade? Ice Age Village? That you weird app that was? Does anyone remember Dog Racer? I do. Prize Claw? Slot Machine? Those Garfield pictures? I remember Gina G Giraffe. Some of these apps aren't definitely aren't around anymore. Definitely not Snoopy's Fair, Village Fair from years ago. Does anyone remember that Teddy Bear app? Or that weird talking Teddy app? I do. So let's look at some old stuff, eh? Hey, Hangy Mans. Well, I want to show things that people may have not seen for God knows how long. We'll do... which one shall we do first? Um, we'll do Gorilla Jump first. Here we go. One of the volumes up so you can hear the good old music. Oh, come on! Here we go.
I've always liked this tune, I do. Uh, sounds good old fashioned, doesn't it? We'll have one game. Basically, you had to. Uh, it's a bit like Doodle Jump, but it's a gorilla version. I remember playing this a fair few times. Ah dear. <laughs> so, that's Gorilla Jump. Uh, we'll do the Talking Shark one, because I like this app from years ago. Boo! No, they should be scared. Hi! This sounds fairly dated. Yeah, that app definitely had better days. We'll do the dog racer next. Hopefully my iPod doesn't die. It's an old one, like I said. Game Circus, do you remember that? I do. No, I haven't played this game in years. Um, what do you have to do again? Um, how do you... Ah. Again, I haven't played this game for God knows how long. I think what you had to do is you had to get the holes into um, into those holes, and you get into the ones you needed. You can run a lot quicker. I have not played Dog Racer probably since 2012, maybe even 2013. So that's Dog Racer, that is. Um, you obviously know what Doodle Jump is. Uh, what else shall we have a look at? Oh, there's one game. I wonder if it's... Ah, here we go. Spin to Win. This is a game I wanted to show you because it was featured on Yoshi and Red Angry Bird years ago. Um... Come on. What's going on? Do not, do not show often, oh, that's weird, right, blah blah, I'm not interested in that, so basically with this game, you just spin, you get loads of like pretending dollars, you can spend it on like alcohol stuff, ah! hate paying taxes, and keep your winning no from get rebate dollars. What's that? Ah. Oh, I see. I don't know. You have to pay it in real dollars. Again, I have not played this game in years. I remember playing this sometimes. You know, when I couldn't go on the internet. So that's Spin to Win. Some of you may have heard about it. Where's the... Ah, oh, here it is. No, what are you doing, you stupid iPod? Hey! Oh, what's going on? Why is it not playing up? Um... Yeah. Um, Voice Plus, eh? Good old voice plus say. Uh, this is when I used to do Alvin and the Chipmunks' bedtime argues. But unfortunately I don't have the mouse option anymore on the new uh um the newer uh, voice pluses version. Sorry I'm not saying not making sense, I'm just showing you like D Alex, is that the rap one, is it? I don't remember to be honest. Do you remember seeing that as well? I think this is more like for the early 2010s kids. Maybe, maybe even mid 2010s. So, there's a lot of like old apps I have on this old iPod. 
And because the battery is going to drain out pretty much now, um, well, um, here, um, here's this. <laughs> Good afternoon to you all. My name is Lee Leeton. Here is today's main stories. Michael Gambon, the actor who played Dumbledore in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, has died on the 27th of September 2023. He was 82 years old and was less than a month away from turning 83 in the period. He retired from acting in 2019 due to health problems since 2015. He had three kids and married a lady called Dan Miller in 1962. They were married for over 60 years. He will be remembered as the powerful Dumbledore since 2004. Mr. Bean, the animated series, is getting a brand new season for 2025. Rowan Atkinson, the voice behind Mr. Bean, is set to do more episodes after over 20 years since the program first aired in 2002. I'm looking forward for a new season of a show I personally watch in my spare time. Charles Chitton, the former reporter, told me that he met Rowan Atkinson once in London back in 2003. He also has his signature somewhere in his loft at home. Charles is in prison at the moment if you're wondering where Charles himself is located at. He will not ever come back on this show. And, oh, is that it for today's news? Well, I guess that's your current news for now ladies and gentlemen. This is has been Lee Leeton, at your service. So giving it a few minutes to charge up, it's going to take some time before it's fully charged and I've got other things to do, like having my dinner shortly. I'll show you a few more things. What shall I show you? I bet some of you really want to see Snoopy's Fair Game. Alright, we can do that. Beeline. Snoopy Street Fair. This, this definitely doesn't exist anymore on the App Store. They got rid of it years ago. I'll show you in my village that I used to used to um, work on. There used to be a Christmas music there used to be. Oh, when's that level? Level three? I thought mine was going a bit higher than that. Oh, I do sorry, but hmm. It's a bit like My Little Pony Village and Simpsons Taps Out. It's a bit similar to that, it is. What have I still got My Little Pony on here somewhere? Um, well, I don't know if I got rid of it years ago. Hmm. Well, there you go. What about Coin Dozer? Where's Coin? Ah, here it is. Move that out of the way. Now, some of you definitely may definitely remember the coin dozer. Does Game Circus even exist still? I don't know, to be honest. So, which level I'm on? Yeah, come on. Wild Offline, it's been far more than nine minutes. I'll show you the prizes I got. I mean, I got like, well, I should have definitely had more than those. Oh, the puzzle. I can show you the puzzle. Um, that never came out, I don't think. What? This puzzle is locked? Well, I definitely... Yeah, I definitely got those and that girl. Maybe I probably forgot that I didn't really complete it. I'll show you um, a quick view. Hmm. I used to like playing coin dozer quite a lot when I was 12 and 13, 14 years old, years ago. Oh, come on, why are you not getting in the way? Great, now my battery's nearly dying again. And then again, it's a really old app it is. Just having a good look. Um, so it's Angry Birds! Alright, alright. Now you can have a look at the classic Angry Birds game. Jeez Louise. 
I don't know if this is the full version or the demo version. This is from 2012. I always going to prefer the classic Angry Birds than the newer Angry Birds edition. Oh, that definitely made um, the 2010s, well, the decade. Remember that classic tune? Um, there's a classic game. You used to play a lot of Angry Birds in my younger years. I do still have all of my Angry Birds plushies. I probably haven't done that one yet. Remember those wallpapers? Oh, I probably never played those. Oh, this is the golden eggs. Basically, if you get one bird only. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. Hmm. That was so complicated, that was. Sorry, it's not the best view, but it's better than nothing. Even clear the stage on the Classic Angry Birds app. I've probably already done it. Yeah, you definitely don't get the classic of Angry Birds nowadays. There you go, classic Angry Birds. Um, why is it not going right? No, I don't want voice control. Oh, what are you doing? Where's the button gone? Oh, Tom Riddle. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Again, it's a really old app. I probably forgot about that. I had the Olly Murs album on there. Um, no, that's not it. Oh dear. How do I get back on the main screen? Where's the button gone? Oh no! What the crud? Oh. Well, there you go, people. I can't seem to go back to the main screen whatsoever now. Because I'm... S no. Because I'm stuck on this. Tom Riddle. You go and see Paul's colleagues. And I'll try to... Sorry about the technical difficulties. For some random reason, now I can't go... Um, I can't go back... To the main tune, I can't. I mean, back to the main screen. Without that button, my iPod is nearly useless. Oh dear. Hmm. What is going on here might be my mate something different. Well, the button is still not appearing. Oh no. Where is the button gone? I'm so sorry about this, viewers. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. You go and see Paul's, Paul colleague, Paul's his colleagues, and I'll see you on another episode. But for now, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Sorry about this. This wasn't meant... This wasn't part of the plan. And now... Ugh. I wonder if restarting it and turn it back on again will work. Let's see. It could work, but for some random reason, the button's disappeared. Without that button, I can't seem to access onto my iPod. Yeah, this is it's a really old iPod, bear in mind. I had this for years. I think I'll probably stop using it as often by the time 2013 came. Let's see if the button will come back. If it's not, then... Well, oh, my iPod's pretty much screwed. I'm sorry about this, viewers. It's not back. Where on earth has that button gone? You go and see Paul's cogs and I'll deal with this. Oh, there it is! Well, you're a bit too late now because we're nearly running up to 20 minutes. See you soon. 
Sarah, which is me, is now your full-time co-head worker. Since Danielle Mary Pop has quietly left us for family reasons, Paul Perkinson has decided to choose me to help any of you of how to improve your adverts, communication to other colleagues. Find support when you need it at the most essential time and someone to get comfort from whenever you're sad or angry or completely lost in your well-being or mindset. Sarah Soft At your service Very impressive Sarah Soft. I didn't know that you became Paul Perkinson's county head worker since Danielle Mary Pop has left for family circumstances. How do you do working for my brother Sarah? I work brilliantly well working with your brother Matilda Perkinson. Not only that I help Beth Bumblehug and Natasha Pooley in the comfort room, but I also help Paul Perkinson out dealing with colleagues when they get into trouble, and sometimes being in a three-people situation. Life at Paul's advertisement apartment is interesting and amazing. How has Chia How Chick Nug coping life between when I left Paul, until I visited this place as a special guest recently? I've heard from Chia How that he fancies me since I convinced him to stay working for my brother all the way back in Lewis Vlog 59. Which was a long time ago at this point. Two years later. Well with Chia How Matilda, he has been okay. He told me he has been missing you more than ever since when he met Oliver Maplewell Owen. Ever since even after when Oliver Owen was taken away from the apartment. Chia How has still been missing you over time even when I started to work for Paul and Beth earlier this year. The colleagues I work with are all interesting in their own ways of how they live in their separate lives, and how each person show their different personalities and characteristics. Still Sarah, I wished I didn't had to leave Chia How or my brother. Oliver Owen would have been sacked sooner if I were at the apartment when Paul and Danielle encountered Oliver Maplewell Owen at the time. I wonder if I have feelings for Chia How too? What do you reckon Sarah Soft? Well Matilda, it depends on who do you fancy as your crush. Your feelings can only be honest if you actually feel them and when the moment comes in. That's what Peter Borking said to me some time ago. Hum. Should I ask a question? Still thinking of asking Matilda to go on a date with you, Chia How Chick Nug? It's okay if you are unsure with yourself. I think you should ask Matilda the question. Once you get the answer, then the tense will go away. It's easy for you Peter Borking since you've very likely had experience with relationships before. But I'm in my early 40s, and never ever been on a date in my whole life before. Even my enemy Alessandro Pipechacha had a wife until 2003. I don't know if it's natural to be nervous on first dates and relationships. Graham never has been on a date before either, and he's way older than me. Chia how chick nag my friend. There's nothing to be ashamed of with your nervous feelings and unsureness. I was the exact same position as you when I asked my first crush on a date many years ago. Just remember Chia how relationships aren't for granted. But I think yours will succeed more than Paul and Audrey's. Well, okie dokie, I'll ask the question and see if she would like to date me for the very first time. I would love to experience a first date for the first time ever. That's the right attitude, Chia How Chick Nug. Even I would have been more nervous and unsure than you when it comes to asking a crush to be in a relationship for the very first time. Let's hope it goes well for you. Hmm. Maybe. It's too soon. It's okay if you don't want to ask the question right now, Chia How. Patience is one key to proper deep romance. Maybe on your first date, you should get a nice suit for yourself from Marks and Spences or John Lewis. Okie dokie Graham and Peter. Thank you for the tips so I can get properly prepared to ask Matilda the question someday.